So some pretty alarming news affecting all Fi Sticks, Fi TVs, and even your Nvidia Shield. Now imagine your device was asleep, you then wake up the device, press the home button, that should then wake up your device, you then select your profile, and what's the first thing that you see when you do that? Straight away, my device is now showing me a full screen advert. Now, this was reported yesterday on the cord cutter or cord cutting news website, and it's been confirmed by multiple people on Reddit, whereby on their devices, when the device does wake up from sleep, it seems to show them a full screen advert. And would you believe it? This is now something that's going to happen even on the Android TV, the Nvidia Shield. So let's have a look at this article. So here we can see Amazon Fire TV is adding full screen video ads that play when you start the TV. So we can see they reported that Cord Cutter News has confirmed that Amazon is adding full screen ads that will play when you start your Fire TV, unless you can perform a quick action on there. This I thought was a bit strange because what they're actually asking you to do is press a button to skip an advert. Now it says here that the new update will be rolling out to all Fire TVs made in 26 or newer. On one of my devices, the third gen Fire TV Cube has a pending update and we will install that together in just a moment. Now it says that with this new update, the ad will be at the top of your Fire TV and it will now start playing full screen, promoting either a movie or a TV show. Now it says that by hitting the home button, you can quickly exit the ad, or if you quickly perform an action on the Fire TV once it finishes, you can avoid the video ad, but you only have a few seconds. And spoiler alert, all they're doing is basically telling you to press down on the remote because when you press down, it takes the focus away from that top screen. Now this is the response from Amazon. So this is their basic justification on why they think it's okay to stuff these adverts down our throat. So they're trying to make the Fire TV experience better for customers, right? Sure. Uh, and they've updated one of their prominent placements for in the UI, which is right at the top to play a short content preview. If no other action is taken by the customer upon turning on their Fire TV. So open up your Fire Stick or turn it on or wake it up from sleep. If you don't press another button within a fraction of a second, you'll then see this full screen advert. Now this is where it gets a bit, I don't know if this is a, an error, but they're saying like this will impact any customers who plug their fire sticks directly into the TV's USB port for power. We have seen in the past where sometimes during an update, if the device can't get enough power, it can cause some corruption to happen on that fire stick. And they're saying because your device is permanently plugged into that USB port, when you turn on your Fire TV, you'll then see that ad. So that really doesn't make sense to me because that shouldn't really make a difference whether you plugged your Fire Stick into the wall socket or into the TV. Either way, if you have this update, when you first wake up the device, it will then try to show you this advert. So that the update started to roll out last week and will be slowly rolling out to more Fire TVs in the coming weeks or months to come. Cool Cutter News has confirmed that new ad is happening on our new Fire Stick 4K Max 2023. I've tested that on my device as well and I also have this update on my third generation Fire TV Cube. So that's the article there. Let me now jump over to my third gen Fire TV Cube. Let's now install this update together. So this is that device now. So if I go over to the settings, Let's click on my Fire TV. We can now go to, oh, we can see here in install update, there is an update waiting for me. So let's click on that. I mean, we've been through this discussion many a times that ultimately these devices from Amazon's point of view, we are renting them from them so they can make any changes that they like. They sell them at a loss. So for them to recuperate some of those losses, they decide to show us adverts or they partner with other companies like Disney, like Paramount and promise them that, you know, we will show your adverts on the home screen. Doesn't matter if the person doesn't have a Disney plus subscription or not, we will recommend your app for a fee. Okay, that's now installing. Let's give that a second. In fact, while we're waiting for that, let me jump over to Reddit. Let me show you what people are actually experiencing today. And we can see this person is saying that in the last few days, every time they wake up their device, they end up seeing an advert right in the top and it's actually a full screen trailer every damn time. Now, as you know, you can actually turn those, um, you know, automatic playing off those video ads at the top. But unfortunately, and this is the shocking bit, you can see that 
it was recommended that if you go to preferences, featured content, this is something I recommend that people do anyway, because if you are accidentally clicking at the top, it can be very frustrating to see that big advert. And he's just saying you can turn them off. But the worrying thing is he's saying he's done that and it still doesn't make a difference. And this just shows you that even if you make certain settings on your device to turn something off, if Amazon want to show you full screen adverts directly on your home screen, you're going to see full adverts directly on your home screen. And we can see a couple of other people saying a similar kind of thing. And again, they're just saying just the fixes. When you first wake up the device, just press down a few times so you're away from the trailer or it will prevent the trailer from automatically starting. Now, for the people that are saying just dump your fire stick, everyone is sick of these adverts or Amazon making changes. Let's now just get a nice, shiny NVIDIA Shield. Well, would you believe it, guys? NVIDIA Shield have now also reported or people have now also reported on that device. As you can see here, NVIDIA Shield is now getting Aura 3D audio and also full screen adverts. You can see here that whilst they're preparing to roll out the new firmware, which is 9.1.2, which supports this new audio feature. Again, it's been reported that these full screen adverts have started appearing this month and the video ads start playing automatically in full screen with audio without requiring any prior user action. I'm guessing this is an example of a, yeah, this is an example of a full screen advert. And it says that it's unclear that which countries are going to be affected by this because they normally do this in a phased rollout approach. But there's one shield owner in the Netherlands and another owner in Canada have complained that they keep seeing the same ad over and over again for, for the Hyundai Kona car model. So adverts or full screen adverts are definitely coming to Android TV or for Google TV. It just shows you that with all of these devices, nothing is completely safe. If they want to send you full screen adverts, they can definitely do that. So what can we do to fix this? Well, I do recommend that we turn off those auto playing video ads because as we can see here, if I press the home button, if my cursor accidentally goes to the top, that then starts auto playing video. But if I press the home button, go now into the settings, let's go into preferences where it says featured content. Let's click on that and make sure both these are set to off. So I'm going to now press the home button. So if for whatever reason my cursor was to go to the top, this shouldn't start playing automatically. And that's what I would have expected, but as we saw with the comments on Reddit, a few people have said when you get this latest update, or when it fully activates, when you press home, or when the device first wakes up from sleep, for whatever reason, it does seem to be triggering a full screen advert or, you know, movie trailers. So very disappointing. And I'm wondering how quickly Amazon are going to push this onto the rest of the devices in their lineup. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below if you have seen a full screen advert on your device, maybe turning it on for the first time or maybe waking up from sleep. Do let me know. It will be interesting to see how many people are affected by this new update. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.